Samyan was one of the first influencers who gave my business a real shot. She was the first influencer to post my jewelry, which kind of started the trickle of other girls wanting to work with me. Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I am so happy you are here. So you guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I uh, actually think that I do the best more than anything else is helping people find the right job for them. I had a staffing agency called Sharp Staffing in 2013. When I was making a lot of money uh, I was single so I was like on the grind on the grind on the grind it was real lonely and I realized wow success is not all what is cracked up to be because you see her career has cost her a marriage and family I think that it's important for each woman to define for herself what is most important and then from that place, begin to create a vision and a strategy towards moving into fulfillment in your life. So anyway, I thought that we would just look at some hustles that people have and, and I was going to do a blind reaction to it since I love career so much. So this is called How I Bring in 350000 a Year Selling Jewelry on the Side. Blind reaction. Let's take a look. My name is Maya Puerto Real. I'm 27 years old and I made $350,000 last year from my side hustle. So I really only started this business with roughly $2,000. Um, it took me about a month and a half to develop the idea, get the process going, and I started with just a single ring. So initially when I found my suppliers, they had private label and private label means that you can essentially put your name on a design they already have. So CAD is pretty much a 3D render of your concept. So you'll have the top of the ring, the bottom of the ring, what the inside detail looks like. If they're gonna stamp your, your company name inside, it gives you a 360 view. And then once I found my first product, I called her Rhea. I found Rhea and I was ready to go. Don Bian was one of the first influencers who gave my business a real shot. She was the first influencer to post my jewelry, which kind of started the trickle of other girls wanting to work with me and respecting the brand. She just randomly posted um, her new nail set, her new acrylics in my one ring. <laughs> And from there, I got my first sale, and believe it or not, I was underpricing like crazy. That ring cost me maybe $7 to make, and I sold it for $18.99 and was very excited about it. And then from there, I began taking classes on ads, writing captions, how to find influencers. That class alone, scaled my company to a point that's unimaginable. That $3,000 class probably made me $700,000 because Facebook ads has become an extensive part of my business and it can't run without it. And from there, that 10 grand became 30 grand. Everyone thought I was crazy because I was working two full-time jobs. I would work during my lunch break. I would bring my laptop to my job during my lunch break, I would eat in the basement by myself, trying to talk to my manufacturers, trying to DM influencers, trying to make money while I'm at work on break. And then I would go home and essentially, as soon as I got home, I would begin my second shift. Because believe it or not, now that you made some money, you have to get the product out. Over the years, my collection has grown quite a bit. When I first started, I only made rings. Now I do rings, earrings, ear cuffs, necklaces, anklets, expanding into men's jewelry, expanding into stationery for the girls. A day job gives you cash flow to risk it all. You don't have to be a social entrepreneur to be a successful entrepreneur. Hmm, that was wonderful. But you know, interestingly enough, um, when I was making a lot of money on YouTube, uh, I was single 
so I was like on the grind, on the grind, on the grind. And then I was able to honestly um, start buying houses. You know, I would take the income and I would just buy a house that was like under $10,000 and just renovate it and sell it. And uh, it was real lonely. And I realized, wow, um, success is not all what it's cracked up to be. Because I uh, actually am a certified life coach. I went to Coaches Training Institute in Marin County. I, I I think that it's really important, however, to balance your life with your values. Like, I think it's great that she made $470,000, but if I had to choose between uh, making this, okay, let me tell you how I feel. I believe that your values should be number one. If you value marriage, if you value family, then that needs to be number one, right? When I went to Coaches Training Institute, we were taught to teach our clients to live in their values. Excuse me. <clears throat> Today, if I'm going to make $470,000 but not have my husband or, you know, not have my family, I would rather make $40,000 and be happy where I am with my values, honoring my values, than to make $400,000 and not have a husband. You know, so I think people need to kind of find their uh, an honest balance between, you know, what do I really want? What do I value? What's most important? Because you see, her career has cost her a marriage and family. So I think in a capitalistic society, it's great to see that she has reached these heights of success. But what about a husband and children? Jordan right. Peterson says that when a woman reaches 30, if there isn't anything psychologically wrong with her, he said that they begin to feel the pull towards being a mother and procreating and they don't feel like a career is as fulfilling as their role as a wife and as a mother. I think that it's important for each woman to define for herself what is most important right and then from that place begin to create a vision and a strategy towards moving into fulfillment in your life whether your passion becomes just a hobby and your primary function is as a wife and as a mother or you know maybe you have a go-getter type of personality and you may deal with a man who's more of a sigma and he's completely okay with you going out there and reaching those heights it's just a matter of uh, balancing that and having open dialogue and communication so I am offering life coaching again and if you want some career coaching, life coaching, I do use the tarot cards to kind of help us through. You can go ahead and go to my site www.sunshinetarot.net and just book a reading and let me know that it's a coaching session and we will uh, look at finding your career, finding your path and balancing it out with your values. Okay, thank you so much for watching. God bless.